Three teams can clinch a playoff berth in Week 14 and one of them is our beloved Chiefs, and the DT Taylor Stallworth it was released from 53-man roster. But first, I would like to say that if you, like me, are a fanatical Kansas City Chiefs fan, subscribe to the channel because I will always bring you daily news about the best team in the NFL, our beloved Chiefs. The NFL already has two teams eliminated from playoff contention, but no team in the league has actually sealed an opportunity to compete for a Super Bowl yet. That could change this week as the Philadelphia Eagles, Minnesota Vikings, and Kansas City Chiefs can lock up their playoff sports in Week 14. The Kansas City Chiefs need to beat the Broncos and the Chargers need to lose to the Dolphins. The Chiefs are seeking their seventh consecutive AFC West title, which would extend the longest streak in franchise history. Kansas City would tie the Los Angeles Rams, 1973-1979, for the second-longest streak of division titles in NFL history, with the New England Patriots holding the record of 11 straight, 2009-2019. Do you believe we will make it? Leave it in the comments. Another issue is the fact that Chiefs to release DT Taylor Stallworth from 53-man roster. The Kansas City Chiefs have made a roster move ahead of their Week 14 game against the Denver Broncos. According to NFL agent Brett Tesler, the Chiefs have released his client DT Taylor Stallworth from the 53-man roster. A free agent acquisition this offseason, Stallworth didn't make the 53-man roster outright in Kansas City. He was signed to the active roster from the practice squad back in early October. He's since appeared in six games, recording four total tackles. Stallworth would have recorded his first career sack with the Chiefs in Week 13 against the Bengals, but the play was waved off with a roughing the passer penalty. The Chiefs recently signed DT Brandon Williams and RB Melvin Gordon to the practice squad. It's reasonable to expect with Stallworth's release that one of those two players will be signed to the 53-man roster in his place. Should Stallworth clear waivers, it's possible that Kansas City could bring him back on the practice squad. It's also possible that his time with the Chiefs has come to an end. I would like to know your opinion about this situation. We have reached the end of another video. Check if you subscribed to the channel and left a like on the video. Until the next news.